All right, good afternoon. This uh, video documentation is with regards to a uh, last final documentation video that we're going to be requesting from you. Now, this is involving a, a component that we haven't previously discussed yet. So, we're actually going to go ahead and show you real quick, uh, you know, what this component is and give you a brief little overview as to how it works. Now, currently on a normal working headlight, you need to turn them on. They'll both turn on like that, right? You know, low beam. Uh, on both sides. On your particular side, you are letting us know, however, that you're not having low beam on the driver's side. And this is even after cross-referencing and double-checking all the polarity for the LED bulbs that we did in the previous test. So essentially, you have something like this. And what I just did is actually I disconnected an important component in here that on your end, it sounds like that might actually be the source of the uh, issue on your end. So I'm actually going to come, uh, have you come around the side right here just to basically show you what this component is and how we're going to go ahead and test it. So basically this is the component right here. And this is a small little uh, control module for the low beam and the high beam actually. And it's located inside the headlight housing by removing the high beam uh, cap right here. So on your end, when you're looking at the headlight, it's actually going to look like this. It's going to be closed up. What you're going to go ahead and do is actually twist the cap counterclockwise and pull it out. Uh, you'll be able to pull out this wire, which is a resistor. Uh, we're not going to be messing with that. This will actually be connected to this thing right here. So on a normal functioning light, you would have this connected like so and, you know, low beam working. And this will actually be tucked away inside the headlight housing over here. So what we're going to have you do is actually twofold. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off real quick just to show you, uh, you know, the test kind of moving forward. Now, uh, for the sake of simplicity, and actually this would help greatly to uh, uh, you just speed along the process just to really isolate, uh, you know, components down to, to one final component. Uh, what we do kindly ask you to do would be if it would be possible for you to actually source uh, just two halogen 9005 bulbs, you know, just something like this. Uh, you can get them at a local auto parts store. They're usually not that expensive. And, uh, you know, just real simple stuff. These obviously don't are not polarity sensitive. Uh, they don't require any canvas modules, anything like that. And basically what that's going to help us to do is really just limit it, limit the test and the documentation to just the headlight itself. And this will help us, you know, to get you any necessary replacements to get this all taken care of for you. So if you're able to source two of these, we're actually going to want you to install these in place of the LED bulbs. And this is really going to simplify testing, uh, you know, moving forward and getting this final video done. So what we've actually gone ahead and done is on this setup, we have two uh, halogen bulbs installed on either low beam, and we've got that set up right now. And so what we're gonna ask you to do is, at this point, the main suspect or culprit for the issue is actually gonna be this module right here. Now, I actually have a uh, bad module here just for reference. And so what can happen sometimes is if uh, this unit overheats, you can actually have some of the wiring come loose like that. Uh, some units will actually exhibit a bit more burning. You might even find some melted portions here at the connector, uh, you know, melted kind of portions around here. But generally, it will not be a brand new looking unit like this. So our suspicion here, and what we really want to kind of document in order to get this, uh, you know, resolved for you, is to isolate it to check if this is actually the issue on the low beam side. Now I do realize there's also uh, the issue with the LED bulb. Uh, that we can actually replace for you. That's not too big of an issue as we previously discussed. The main thing we're trying to concentrate here is the head, uh, the headlight itself, just to be sure that we get everything resolved. So we get you a, a working LED low beam bulb, and we also make sure that your headlight is working as well for the low beam. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually have you come around on the headlight and we're going to want you to disconnect and swap these uh, little modules just to uh, you know double confirm so I'm gonna go ahead and take the module from the passenger side headlight take it over here to the driver's side meanwhile we'll disconnect this driver's side take it to the passenger side we're gonna reconnect same thing over here I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect and once you've done that and you've also installed the halogen bulbs and made sure to connect them in here as well using the little connector. So this will be that internal connector with the little turquoise cap and the yellow and the black wire. So you're gonna make sure your bulb is in here connected, bulb is in here connected, and you've swapped out these two. Now at this point, with the headlights still connected to the vehicle, what we're gonna ask you to do is one more time, turn the vehicle onto the low beam position. And at this point, you know, document what happens. At this point, uh, you know, if it is indeed the module, the, the, the issue is actually going to switch over to the passenger light. So this light should now turn on. This light will be off. 
Now, if that is the case, we can definitely move ahead and get that replaced for you, get this all working for you. But uh, again, we do need that video documentation. So we will kindly ask that you perform this, uh, you know, this test as outlined in this video in one uh, video on your end. Now, once you're able to do that, just go ahead and upload it to YouTube or Dropbox. Send us a link like previously done, and then we'll go ahead and get this taken care of for you. Now, uh, this does conclude this portion of the video. I will actually be messaging you on eBay to uh, you know, further outline and give you a bit more uh, directions as to uh, you know, what we're asking for or requiring here. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to direct them to us on the eBay messages. We'll be glad to take care of that for you. But uh, other than that, this concludes the video documentation. Thank you very much.